An old new controller will be unboxed uh, really, really quickly soon. It was sitting in this place, then it was sold, and then the new one came. Here it is. And we work in conjunction with LHCM, with this small GNG controller, and with other controllers here on my system, which is connected together, all together. I mean, that's the, that's the wind part, so to say. I mean, this is the grid tie solar inverter, big one, but I mean, I mean, it was just sitting here, so I build everything around. I mean, it's crazy, right? Uh, anyway, uh, this is the first step of preps to mount the FT1500 wind turbine, which will eventually sit on this place. This is 10.7 meters height, where FT1000 sits right now. It will be taken down and put onto this place, and this one will be moved somewhere else, likely here. Uh, so, well, let, let's see. I mean, I mean, I don't have any preferences. The only preference is the bigger diameter gets the better place. As easy as that, nothing specific. And I mean, that place, that is 15 meters, 15.2 to be exact. That one is reserved for the 4 meters diameter, which will be also the pitch control. It is going to arrive in about a month, I think. Uh, and like, I mean, we will all see how it will go, how will it perform in some time, because that is also something that I have to finish before winter comes. And today is September 16th. So let's start this change, the FT1500, which is currently uh, dismantled and it has the new and will already arrived. So let's start with the controller. And this is how the product is typically packed. This is a Ukrainian-made controller, and I mean, this is the only one in series Ukrainian manufacturer that produces very good controllers. And I mean, it has all the documents back in it, uh, so, I mean, that's important. This is the passport of the device. Uh, what does the passport mean? And it, it has some technical parameters, technical data. It has the date of packaging, so you see this is September 1st, today is September 16th. Uh, the date of manufacture, well, uh, yeah, yeah, literally, he, he, he made it 31st of August, but anyways. So, I mean, some connection scheme. And, uh, of course, the, like, what is required, the, the, the documentation for, uh, I mean, that's a proof, actually, that, he's, that this controller is being sold legally, fully legally, I mean, uh, without any issues no no gray schemes no no dark schemes whatever and i mean all the all the um all the taxes are being paid so whatever so if you're looking for an honest an, an honest uh, producer this is the one i mean that's the price roughly guys for you it's about 500 bucks a little bit less maybe for 90. Uh, that's the price for a version with the boost uh, and that price is, price is quite good, but I mean, seriously, you have to add a little bit of the, to this controller because I mean, this is the controller itself. Like I uh, like I told you already, this is the antenna for Wi-Fi, and I mean, you will have to uh, add the resistor as I told you before. And I have one. I already bought it uh, earlier. I've shown it to you earlier. I will give you the link to this video. So this is the resistor that is going to sit with this controller. And I mean, you need this device, but that's about 100 bucks extra. So literally, the cost will be say six six hundred. Anyways, so let me mount it on the uh, on the board, do the wirings, uh, and I will show you. Explain later. Later. And literally, guys. I mean. <laughs> 10 seconds and it's it's there because I mean all the holes that were drilled on, on, on in there they say they are same and even the resistor size is exactly same so it actually fit I mean nicely 10 seconds and it's there in place and literally I have to like mimic the connections and that's very easy so battery first plus and minus then the lines of generator wind turbine input uh, three here and the resistor will be I guess this one and this one, so the minus is the same and the plus will be for the resistor is, is this one. So that's it, I won't be using any, any specific additional relay, sensors, whatever, Been I mean it has some functionality here, additional, uh, but I won't be using this because I'm absolutely okay with how it works standardly with the, with the, with the additional resistor and that's it. Uh, it has its own uh, circuit breaker now. Oh, this one it's 63 amps, so unlike the LHCM by the way, LHCM by the way, if you remember, uh, it has the wind turbine brake and it has the battery circuit breaker additionally uh, on, on board, I mean not additionally but on board this one doesn't, this one doesn't and literally they are exactly same in uh, size and in this configuration once you add up all those that is missing in this one that will be actually even cost-wise exactly same so I mean they are same
right? So let me finish the wiring, launch it, uh, and then do the wind turbine connection. Okay, all the connections and joints are done and f f fully finished. Uh, and now, like the cable is attached, it goes from this box, which is supposed to be FT1500, but still FT1000 FT sits there. And I think I should be likely finishing this today because tomorrow we have a plan for a rain for the whole day So this will be not comfortable to do anything. So today we will have a little bit of wind. Yeah, you see One of the wind turbines started spinning. So I mean that's a that's a tiny wind uh, anyways So and, and and on Thursday, this is a day after tomorrow We are going to have some little bit of wind so I'll be able to even to test it live um, in, 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 in a little bit better mode. So let me just do this and uh, I will have to also do the settings probably but I mean for now I don't see any major differences from the previous version of the wind turbine. So still same settings on the RPMs, voltages, max, mean, whatever. Uh, still same settings, settings on the battery and uh, on the system of course i will have to adjust them right uh, and languages you see it has english also as well let me by the way try to change it you know how will it work i guess it should be yeah yeah it is it is working it is showing absolutely what is uh, required maybe i will leave it in english you know so everybody, will, Ukrainian guys will understand this, but for you international audience, it will be much more comfortable to look in whatever language that is more convenient for you. So probably I will do this. So these are the settings. Uh, still, anyway. So I will set it up up to the wind turbine that is projected to be sitting here. This will this will be the FT fifteen hundred with the three point oh two meters, three meters to centimeters wind will in diameter. And yeah, I will likely have to do the change right now because you see the wind is a little bit, a little bit and it will pick up. Uh, so I have probably an hour to actually do this, maybe two hours. So, so uh, while it's still comfortable and not too windy. Anyways, let's go. So partially done with this assembly. And I mean, uh, blades down, cone etc and well there is an issue with this gen uh, with these types of generator i mean not with this one but basically with any of those with the conical shafts how to remove the hub the hub removing the hub is actually a tough thing and many people do hammering down this is not a good thing to do uh eventually let me even show you how to do this because i will be doing this but i have to put this generator down completely but well in order to do this i had to take down the blades one by one and well uh, after i disassemble it i will show you how how in reality you should uh, approach the hub removal from this kind of generators and not only this one i mean it works also for that one whatever uh, any of those so give me some time well, that's the 1500 with the 3 meter diameter wind wheel, the new one. Obviously, the new one. I mean, it looks like it looks nice because, well, it's kind of new. Uh, and I decided to leave it a foldable tail. So, everybody else, everybody else, 2000 with the increased wind wheel up to 3.4. I mean, this one, they all have the fixed tail. They don't have it bent. I mean, well, if D4, uh, this one has got a swivel tail that is a little bit different, that allows it to be like sit stable on the wind, but that's a little bit, that's very different. This one has got a folding tail as a protection. So let's try to actually lift it uh, in a live mode. I don't know. What if? What if I can show it to you? I mean, everything is prepared. Ah, uh, no, 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 guys, I will not be able to show it to you because I definitely need two hands. I need to guide the wire. So literally, no, sorry, I will not be able to show it to you because it will be a mess. It will be a mess. So yeah, let me lift it up and that's it. I need two hands. Well, it's done. As I told you, I need two hands to try to make it as even as possible. And well, it's up in the air uh, and it rotates a little bit since it's sitting, it's sitting on the parking brake. So, well, uh, all must be okay. But let's see, I have to 
put the connection on the folding elements and the, uh, apply the wire guides, I mean to tension them correctly. And that will be it and well change the settings on the controller and we will see how it goes because well I mean obviously these will go a little bit so I have to I have to make this one go as well because well what's the purpose of a wind turbine it has to run on the wind not sit still right okay here is the moment of truth I already let it go and it goes it goes exactly as it should as anyone can expect it to go starting the uh, power production from about 90 RPMs, 90-92, that's where it realistically can take something out. I mean, this wind speed will be lying a little bit, uh, but maybe yes, maybe no, it's something that you can orient to, onto as well, uh, because eventually I set it up to uh, pull the power starting from 2.5, but this meter tells that the, that, the, that, the, that the wind speed is a little bit different. Let me remind you, uh, it has uh, a lag and it has a lag and it has the average value that is uh, for some time for several for, for like 15 or 16 seconds I don't remember and this one is more exact because I mean once you have the certain voltage once you have certain RPMs uh, that's where you can try taking out some power I mean that's it so obviously right now the wind died I mean I don't know whether yeah oh, absolutely at, at, at almost to nothing a little bit of rotation is kept, but I mean not enough for production anyways. So here it started. 120, let it sink, think. 50 watts, 60 watts, 40 watts, 30. Yeah, 90 RPM is the least you have to have. This one says 3.7, 3.1. Yeah, I believe it's down below below three because none of the wind turbines. I mean, this one will also be showing uh, like the pulse mode already, so it doesn't get too too, too much of a production. This is the T2000 with a 3.4 wind wheel, not stable yet. So does this one. I mean, literally, you can take out uh, normal power somewhere from around 2.7, 2.8 meters per second. That's the reality. Anyways, I consider this thing as a successful. Give me some time to check if the parameters set on the controller were right. And I will show you definitely some short late later on. How will it perform on a bigger and better winds? We will see it all. Not much time left until we have some action happening around. Thanks for now. See you guys later. And guys, I thought that was it, but I was mistaken. Uh, let me explain you what exact change I have done to these settings in the controller and you will be really impressed. So, first of all, this first screen means that 70 RPM is the RP are the RPMs on 2 meters per second and 16 watts is the power of the turbine on these settings. And the next screen means this is the minimum RPM where from we should start dragging out the power from the generator. And RPM max is, uh, max is um, the RPMs when we have to start protecting the wind turbine from overspin. And I mean, the controller will apply heavy pressing uh, to reduce the rotations as much as possible below this value. So as you may clearly see, 65 is less than 70, which is on two meters per second and the most important thing is that um, Eugen mean this is means the minimum voltage the cutting voltage from the wind turbine is 24 volts uh, because well I mean this is necessary for this exact controller because I mean it cannot read the frequency and so the RPMs correctly uh, on the 23 22 21 volts etc and right now oh come on we can definitely see you may believe this value, now it shows the correct and exact value. 2.4 meters per second wattage RPMs absolutely corresponding, absolutely relating to this exact wind turbine. And I mean, this is amazing. I managed to make it working literally from 2 to 2.1 meters per second without any issues of being overloaded. I mean, very easy blow, it just goes. No issues with that. I mean, that's truly impressive and amazing. And it absolutely corresponds to the value, how it should, how it, uh, how it behaves. 
Wind down, it goes down. Wind up, it's go up, it goes up. And I mean, these values are now absolutely correct. The meters per second, I mean. And that's crazy. So uh, today we have had a little bit of wind. So let me show you what was the max for today. So far, it, it peaked out at some kind of 1,123 watts. And it was uh, some at some point, not at this exact one, but at some point maximum voltage was recorded to be 115. And let me show it to you on the application because like it has the application that shows everything. And here on the events tab at the bottom, uh, we can clearly Come on, we can clearly see the voltage and RPMs when these 1123 watts were achieved. So this is absolutely very good. This is at 300 RPMs, which means it, he still has a lot of potential to go. Remember, I have the 460 at max. So I really hope to see 2.6, 2.8 kilowatts out of it. Uh, and that would be more than enough for me. I will be more than happy. I mean, well, yeah, it's a really nice application, um, shows an accounting, uh, shows uh, settings. You cannot do settings, you can only start or stop it from here. Uh, what else? Nothing else, right? Like, absolutely, you can watch from my phone. It's almost live, like, the delay is, I don't know, let me try to show it to you how it works. The delay is very, very minimal. There is some, but like very, very minimalistic. Almost instant, almost instant. Like maybe two seconds, maybe one second delay. I don't know. And by the way, right now you can clearly see how it starts working from uh, 70 RPMs. I mean, it, it just read the, 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 the RPMs, started dragging out. 2.2 it goes 2.1 it goes it never went down 70 below 70 once it will it will stop dragging out the power yes it did then it let it go a little bit then it ramped up i mean amazing it works on literally two 2.1 meters per second and above that's crazy i mean <laughs> this is time to stop probably it we will all be interesting interested to see how will it go uh, in the long term, in the long run? But so far, I am more than impressed. Uh, I now have two wind turbines, these two. This is the FT1500, which we have been launching today. And this is the FT2000. So two of those work below three meters per second stable, in stable mode. And that's impressive. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you later and well, see you. See you next time.